over the waves in the background. I'm at the beach. I'm just kidding. I am at Lake Michigan. It's almost sunset. I decided to spontaneously take a trip because I basically had no reason to be in Atlanta. One of my clients rescheduled and I didn't have much going on and all of my friends were busy and I couldn't find anybody to hang out with and on top of all that it was gonna rain all week and I'm like shit I'm gonna get depressed if I stick around here bored and hating my life so instead of sticking around there bored and hating my life I decided I'm just gonna drive 12 hours and go to Michigan why not well, the rest of the southeast was raining, so I couldn't go somewhere close. It's too hot for Miami because it's already June. These rocks are hurting my feet. So, yeah, I was considering like a lake up here because it's uh, far enough away from the rain. And I'm, a, I'm totally a water girl. And... I was getting stressed out thinking about it because I'm like, it's 12 hours worth it if I only have six days to a week off. And I looked for workaways and I kind of struggled to find any, but I found this one in South Haven, Michigan, and just kind of sent a message. It looked like they were pretty close to the lake and I didn't really feel like camping for a week even though that would be the only way I could really afford something like this. And I didn't want to couch surf for a week because I feel guilty doing that uh, for more than a couple days at a time. So it was just a lot of planning. I didn't want to have to plan and worry about where I was going to stay next and camp and pay $25 for a campsite when I wasn't sure if it was going to rain up here too. So I was almost not going to come and then the workaway person answered me and was like, please come, I don't care if it's spontaneous and random. We need all the help we can get. And here I am. And you guys, I'm not kidding you. I am staying in a room with a million dollar view. This is the view from my bedroom that I'm staying at for a week. Isn't that amazing? Like Michigan looks like the ocean. But it's not hot as balls up here. It's fantastic. I get to stay in a little log cabin. You know how much money I would be paying for this if I was staying as a guest instead of a workaway? You guys, this is great. Most of you guys are probably already familiar with Workaway. If not, it's a website for people who are traveling and people who need help with whatever, most of the time farm work or housework. And they basically give you a place to stay and you come and do X amount of hours. It's determined by each individual uh, working for them. So today they have me weeding hops. Like for beer, is that kind of hops? This is a hops plant behind me. So as you can see, basically what I'm doing here is all of these are overgrown by weeds. See, like, this is weeds, and then these are ones that I've done. So basically all you want left is the hops plant growing up the stream. And I have to get in there, put on my gloves, and get rid of anything that doesn't look like a hops plant. Throw it away.
also getting to pick asparagus today. If I want asparagus for my dinner. It's super hard to find. You gotta look for these like snakes in the grass. in like four hours today but again I have some things like RA and I'm also out of shape so I'm pretty sore right now from bending over for four hours but I got like an entire line of hops weeded in four hours Make sure you tune in to next week's video where I will be talking about the rest of my very first workaway experience. And check out the description below if you are interested in having your very own experience with Workaway. I've provided links to both the general website and direct links to the place that I stayed at, Tom's and Folly Organics Farm. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later.